Holy freaking smokes, Ottawa. Seriously. Jacob Chikrin, after months and months and months and months of speculation, has finally, finally been traded, and it is to the Ottawa Senators. But what are the trade details? Who wins this deal? And how will Chikrin fit in with the Sens? Watch till the end and let's get straight into it. Out of nowhere, the Ottawa Senators announced that Chikrin would be going to the Sens in a pretty underwhelming return for Arizona, in all honesty. We'd have been expecting at least like two first round picks, maybe a first round pick and a first round quality prospect going back the other way to any team that's going to trade for Chikrin. But no, it's a pretty underwhelming package. And to me, this is a slam dunk move to make for Ottawa. We've been talking about Jacob Chikrin for a long time as this great mobile top four defenseman, but in a lot of ways, I think for the Sens, he's always made a ton of sense. He can play more offensive, he can play more defensive, he can be versatile, and he can do a lot of different things. And I think for Ottawa, and especially their offensive woes, Chikrin will come in and solve a lot of those problems. And this season for AZ in 36 games has seven goals, 21 assists for 28 points, and has been held out quite a bit recently for those trade-related reasons. And it's actually surreal to actually see Jacob Chikrin get dealt. But again, to me, Ottawa is a pretty perfect fit for his play style. He can be confident and he can be reliable. And to me, especially with Ottawa's playoff push right now, after two big wins against Detroit, the morale for this Sens club is probably at an all-time high. And of course, one of the big parts about Chikrin's value is that contract, making $4.6 million for this year and the next two seasons afterwards. Even though he will be a UFA, to me, Ottawa was always a really likely destination because of, one, the room on that defense and the need for a player like Chikrin, but also the need to keep costs low. And with Chikrin making just $4.6 million, he's worth around that $7 million range. When he is healthy, when he is going, to me, he's a top 20 defenseman in this league. And adding that type of presence onto the defense is going to do so much for every single part of this Ottawa team. It'll give them so much more stability and so much more room for comfort. But then, of course, let's go on to the trade details. And it's not just the fit for Ottawa that I love and, of course, the contract for Ottawa that I love, but also the return that they had to give up. It's really not that much. When we talk about Chikorin being, a, if he's healthy, a top 20 defenseman, again, you'd expect to at least be giving two first-round picks, but the Ottawa Sanders didn't have to do that. For the Sense Communications page, trade alert, the Sense have acquired, of course, Jacob Chikorin in exchange for a conditional first round pick in 2023, a conditional second round pick in 2024, previously acquired by the Capitals, and a second round pick in 2026. But then we look towards the conditions of this trade, and it's honestly not that bad either. For the first round pick that they gave up, it's top five protected, which unless the Sense miss the playoffs and there's just magic beans in the lottery, I don't think is going to matter all too much. And then you have, of course, conditions if the Sense go to the Eastern Conference Finals this year, which I would say is really optimistic for Ottawa, but if it does happen, they'd have to give up more in this trade. But to me, they'll probably be in the middle area where they maybe make the playoffs because of a trade like this, but they don't go too far yet. But that's kind of perfect. They still didn't give up that much. They didn't give up one prospect in this trade. And for me, Ottawa, that's an absolute win just by itself. But when you look at this defense, when you look at this Ottawa Senators team, they've been on a roll these past couple of weeks and the record has really shown it. They're just a few points back from a playoff spot right now. And with the winning that they've had and adding Jacob Chikrin onto this defense, that's the exact type of player I wanted to see the Sens go after. If they're going to go after somebody, bring a player that's young, bring a player who's now 24 with some pretty good term. And to me, this is a perfect, perfect move for the Senators to make. And now you look towards the future. It's not just a rental for them, but it's going to be a player that's going to be a part of that core and deservedly so for a really long time. A plus trade here by Ottawa. And for Arizona, we did see just the lack of, of, of great sustainability in all these trade talks. There wasn't really too much momentum in the Jacob Chicker and trade talks with their asking price being so high, but it looks like Arizona was eventually comfortable going lower in the deal and that's why we've seen a Jacob Chikrin today, folks. It's because of that. But that lack of leverage has kind of created a perfect deal for the Sens, and I'm absolutely loving it. But I want to know in the comments down below what you guys think of this deal. What do you think about the Jacob Chikrin trade? Do you think the Sens win it? Do you think the Coyotes win it? And how do you see the Sens doing a Jacob Chikrin on that defense? Let us know down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next trade video because everybody's making trades right now. Goodbye.